Welcome back to the Smallville set. We are now joined by two well-known actors, John Schneider and Annette O'Toole. Thanks so much for being here, both of you. You are, absolutely. You're welcome. So what's it like being parents to this guy? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, it's always a pleasure to come to work and, and see Tom in the morning. It just, it's so much fun. And, um, oh, Mom. We, it's Tom. Aww. Except when he calls me Mom. It's like, oh. <laughs> well, it is a very young cast. I mean, you two really are sort of young. like we the parents. We really couldn't We're have incredibly young, that's right. No, <laughs> possibly be possible. Well, it's fun to work with Tom. Tom is great. He's so, uh, he's so eager. He has grown so much. He's gotten so tall. Oh, so tall. Glad you get to sit here while but they talk about season. you. he's such a season. He really, he's, he's soaked up this business like a sponge, and it's really a delight to see that. Well, Don, you've had an amazing career from your days on Dukes of Hazard, which I love, um, Broadway, TV movies, and tons and tons and tons of other work. Can you just sum up your prolific acting career? My, well, um, tenacious. <laughs> tenacious. I will, I will not not work because I love it. I really, really enjoy what I do, and not to embarrass Tom any further, but it's great to see somebody that enjoys what they do, uh, and he does it a whole, he's got the schedule I had when Dukes of Hazard was king, now he's working the 12 hour days and the six day weeks and all of that. Which gave um, me perspective when we started out and I'd come in and go, oh I'm so tired, and John goes, well listen here. <laughs> We're only getting started. You're not the first one, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, many years ago, you actually played Lana Lang mm -hmm. in Superman 3. Mm -hmm. How ironic is that? It might have been actually planned. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. <laughs> but um, it, it was a wonderful experience. And um, I got to work a lot with Chris Reeve. And um, so it's, I guess, this kind of full circle sort of thing. I can't seem to leave Superman behind me, which is something I'm very happy about because it was a childhood icon of mine, as you know, was for many people. Um, I just, I love the myth. I'll, I'll, I'm never tired of hearing about it and all the different characters. Well, going back to the beginning, the two of you didn't create Clark Kent. He sort of just showed up on the Kansas farm. Tell us a little bit about how that happened. But mostly I remember hanging upside down in that horrible <laughs> harness. Oh. When, when we did, I remember, we're up, th upside down. I'm 5'4". These, these men are a foot. We're all the same height upside down. They're, they're a foot taller than I am. <laughs> so, but upside down, his head is literally jammed on the, on the ground, which is the top of the car, and I'm just hanging free. <laughs> so you guys Honey. have this great chemistry going into real life. I mean, yeah, that's fun. I tell you, we really do have a good time. When did both of you begin to realize that your son, Clark Kent, was different, to put it mildly? I think we knew that the early parts of Smallville and the pilot, we had a secret that he didn't know. Mm -hmm. you know he was just a, a kid and his dad wouldn't, wouldn't let him play football and his, his uh, mom was very protective of him because uh, we didn't want him to know that he was different. Mm -hmm. Dad, something else happened to me this morning. When I woke up, I was kind of floating. Floating. As soon as I woke up, I crashed. I mean, Dad, what's happening to me? I honestly don't know. As soon as you start breaking the law of gravity, we're definitely in uncharted territory. I just wish you would stop. Look, Clark, I'm your father. I'm supposed to have all the answers. That kills me that I don't, but, but you gotta have faith and we'll figure this thing out together i do but this is happening to me and i'm scared i don't think i've ever seen that scene that was so nice you know for me playing clark and then um, to work with john and annette who both i've met members of both their families and they they both in real life have such great warm caring wonderful families and they're both responsible for that i mean john is a father annette is a mother um, and as go going into these into these scenes, as you know, son talking to his parents, I think that somehow has transcended into the working relationship. I mean, Annette is very much aware of what it is to be a mother, and John mm -hmm. is very much aware of what it is to be a father. And they bring a, a um, uh, what do you call it? Not, a, not a, it's quality, but it's also like a, a reality mm -hmm. to the, to the roles they play. And, and I feel. Blessed. I mean, as parents, are you able to relate to that if, you know, when you're advising your children? Yeah. Smallville has helped me, I think, be a better father. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in, yeah, I watch this guy on TV and think, oh my gosh, I better be more like that. <laughs> That's um, pretty good. <laughs> 
So Clark has all these wonderful powers, but at times he can be a bit rebellious. I mean, he's not always Mr. Goody Two Shoes, is he? He's never no. Mr. Goody Two Shoes, actually. Is he? No, no, Clark. Oh, oh. Not Tom. <laughs> not Tom. Watch the scene. Clark Kent, you stole from us. Oh, I use your credit cards. What's the big deal? We don't have to pay for it right away. Well, I'll tell you the big deal. The big deal is you're going to take all this garbage back right now. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. And then after you've taken all this garbage back, you and I are going to have a nice long conversation about this new attitude you've developed. Well, Dad, you can talk all you want. I'm out of here. Scene there, you know, Clark riding off on the on the Harley. Well, we yeah. do have to say he's under the influence of red kryptonite. There, that's, that's not right. our our real Clark. Ah, yeah. how hard is it as his parents to advise him what's okay and what's not okay, what he should do with his powers and what he shouldn't do? Well, it's it's very difficult because we're we're not in that position and we don't. Yeah. No, there nobody in the world is. He's the only one, and that's where we're in, in this territory that we have to. That there's a lot of trust that goes on with with him. Mm -hmm. But I think really what makes Smallville so much fun to watch and what's caused it to last so long um, is that they really know these people. The people mm -hmm. that watch Smallville really have had the opportunity to look and see what has made this young man turn into Superman mm -hmm. later. It sounds crazy, but I think that Lionel Luther's found a way to use my blood to bring people back to life. If my blood can save lives, maybe I should come forward. What if there's something inside me that could repair Dad's heart permanently? Clark, your mother and I both know that you are going to save a lot of lives in this world. Even more than you have any idea. The only life I'm interested in saving is yours. You do. You save my life every day that you're with us. And we wouldn't trade that for a single moment without you. I see why people like this show. I've never seen that scene either. I, I've missed so many of these shows. It's sad. Wow, that's great. No wonder they like us. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, both of you. Sure thing. I really fun. enjoyed it. It's great. I'll be right back with Tom's beautiful co-star, Kristen Crook. Kristen plays Clark's sometimes love interest, Lana Lang. So stay right there. <laughs>